Trish from Australia's most loved brand, Cadbury, is here, and you're going to be showing us how to make probably the best cupcakes. You're probably the perfect person to do this because you know everything about chocolate. Is that right? Well, yes, mostly. <laughs> Just giving you a bit of a, you know, the just best chocolate maker in the world. Just talk myself <laughs> up. Queen of chocolate, that's it. I've never made these before. What are they? They're, they're red velvet muffins. Yeah. So they're um, they're quite delicious. And what's different about them is they have really quite a, um, a pronounced red crumb rather yeah. than being chocolatey or vanilla-y. Mm. Um, they're really quite red. So you take so. a bite into it and you think it's going to be like a strawberry or a something else but it's actually this big chocolate yeah it's flavor, exactly isn't it? that's yeah. right yeah all right well let's get started okay so what we need to do is to cream the butter and sugar till it's nice and fluffy mm -hmm. and have the butter really well softened that'll make, make it, it easier yeah it? cream really quickly faster yeah fast isn't it absolutely you wouldn't want to do that job by hand <laughs> just pop in one egg that will come together nicely and make the mixture really light and fluffy. What I'm going to do here is just to sift the dry ingredients. In the sieve here I've got one and a half cups of plain flour. I need to add to that some baking powder to help the little muffins rise. Quarter of a cup of Cadbury Bourneville cocoa. Okay. And Cadbury have been making this product here since 1922. What we need to do with the cocoa is to sieve it with the other dry ingredients. One of the things you'll notice with cocoa is that it tends to try and absorb moisture. So it may have a couple of little lumps okay. and it, you get a much better result if you actually sieve yeah. those together. And it's not just cocoa, of course it needs to be sieved, but certainly other dry ingredients so that they're, all the lumps are removed and a little bit of air is added and it's mixed together well. I'll just beat that a little bit more. That's, that's looking good now, isn't it? I'll just let you mm -hmm. have a look. Yep, that looks great. Recipe. Great. Absolutely. So there are a couple of other ingredients that are going to help these little fellas to rise. Mm -hmm. We've got a little bit of vinegar and some bicarb soda. Okay. That's mm -hmm. going to help to um, promote the colour and, and make the colour really rich as well. Okay. I'll pop that in now. So that's the little bit of white vinegar and some bicarb, bicarb. soda. And then we can start to add the dry ingredients with the other liquid. And that's actually some buttermilk. And just so that we could remember, I dropped a couple of drops of red food colouring in there. But, Justine, you can go to town and add quite a lot there. Right. A good, a good teaspoon or more. Um, depending on the type of food colouring you use, some are a little more intense than others. You can add quite a lot and just, like, red, red, red. Maybe a bit more. A bit more? You say when? When? <laughs> <laughs> nice up. and bright. I'm just going to add these ingredients. That is nice and bright, isn't it? <laughs> it is bright. So we can add the sifted dry ingredients to the bowl. And you can pour in those liquid ingredients and then just mix them until the ingredients all come together. We might need to run a spatula around that when it comes out. There we go. That should do. Good. Look at that. Nice batter there. I'll get this out of your way. Okay. So, Justine, you can see that mm. it's quite a deep red colour Absolutely. rather than your usual chocolate mixture. Yeah. And you'll see that when the um, muffins come out of the oven too. Okay. Well, I'll get the patty cakes here. Okay. And how appropriate. Nice and red. <laughs> nice and red. So, what we need to do is to spoon the mixture into the lined muffin pan. Yep. And essentially around about a third of a cup. All right, we'll finish these. And how long do they cook in the oven for? Um, they'll take about 15 to 20 minutes. 15, 20 minutes, 180 yeah. degrees? Yeah, they're about moderate oven. Okay, there they are. They've cooled down. They've come out of the oven. They've risen nicely. Mm. You need to allow them to cool in the pan for a little while. Um, we're going to make a delicious cream cheese icing. What I've done is to soften the cream cheese up first. And if you've got time, it makes sense to put it out on the bench and let it come to room temperature. But if you're in a bit of a rush, which often happens, um, you might like to just break it down, uh, cut it up into blocks. Mm. Uh, for each 250 gram block, you can put it into the microwave for about 30 seconds. Okay. Yeah. And that's enough to soften it down. 
this is some icing, icing sugar, sugar, so you just have to, this is a bit of a gradual process. Once you get a little bit of the sugar in, it'll soften the filly down. That's it. Muscles for that oh, one. Oh, you need your younger muscles then. Just relax <laughs> over here. <laughs> just a little bit of vanilla mm -hmm. for some flavour. And this is some milk powder, and Ooh. I always find that it thickens the icing up really well and it gives it a really rich flavour too. And can you find that in the supermarket? Absolutely, yes, okay. just milk powder. Yep. Because I guess when you when you ice, you just don't want that thin gloss. We want it to be nice and fluffy. That's it. Top, right? And I might just get that spoon off you for a sec. Sure. Wooden spoon? Okay. We'll just bring that together and it's nice and thick and quite delicious. There we go. A knife for you. Just load it up. I used to love doing this as a kid. So this was my job. All right, Trish, well, yours looks very professional. I'm going to continue, and I guess we'll see at the end which ones are mine. <laughs> this one. <laughs> and which one are yours. Okie doke. <laughs> I guess they're mine and they're yours. Mm -hmm. You can see how professional yours are. But I guess I can cover it. We can use some, some of this white chocolate. That's exactly right. We've got the Cadbury baking block there that grates down beautifully. So you can actually finish the top of them off there. And the, this baking block is real chocolate. Look at that. All right, well, I'm going to place it on this, this tray. I like presenting just on here. There we go. Oh, look, they look really, really nice. Can't wait to dig into them. Actually, maybe I should just try it just to test I it. I think you better. Okay. Yeah, just give it the test run. There's no nibbling on this. I've just got to... No, you just enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Yummy? Mmm. Mmm. You can see the little... Mm. The red tinge the in red them. Mm. Yeah. Mmm. A little bit of that milk powder. Mm-hmm. Makes such a difference. Makes it really nice and thick and rich. I tell you what, not one bite of those. I'm just going to keep going. <laughs> so good. They don't last long at my Yum. Place, <laughs> mm. It's a chocolate too. Really, really rich in chocolate flavour. Delicious. Mm. Enjoy. <laughs>